A good Monday afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your midday Arklamas update. Fire Chief Philip Brown, president of the Jackson Parish Fire Chief Association, has declared a burn ban for Jackson Parish. The burn ban prohibits all outdoor burning until the fire chief determines that the weather conditions are safe enough to cancel that ban. The ban becomes effective today and remains in effect until he cancels that. Violation of this burn ban may result in a $500 fine and or six months in jail. The Ruston community was out at the New Covenant Faith Healing and Deliverance Ministries for a school drive on Saturday. NBC 10's Valerie Moravi spoke to community leaders about the impact they hope to have on this drive. The third annual event brought school supplies and a Sunday service to prep students for the upcoming school year. We want the kids to know that they are great and they can be great and they will be great with the help and the love of God. I'm praying because I'm praying for God and I love God. Ministry leaders say they hope the items and services provided will boost the children's self-esteem and well-being. Today's world, um, failure is kind of like something that people feel like they can't come back from. But if you fall, you can get back up again. There is hope and we want to stand in the gap and let the kids know that there is hope. The ministry offers school supplies, lunch and haircut vouchers to meet the needs of the community. I'm glad that I got new backpacks, new school supplies and I'm in third grade now. I want to learn and I want to graduate and I want to go to college. Odom says bringing home an extra backpack for her sister, who did not attend the event, was very important. I got this purple backpack, and this is for my sister. I really, she really likes purple a lot. And I like, this is mine, and I like this the most because it's pink and I love flowers. We may not know their situation at home, but just telling them, hey, or giving them encouraging words can put a smile on their face because the world we are, in, we are in, we don't know what anyone is going through. To attend the Sunday service or learn more about Sunday school, visit myarklamist.com for more details. Reporting in Rustin and Valerie Moravi for your Arklamist News Source. Well, hope is on the way for new moms suffering from postpartum depression. The FDA has approved a first ever oral medication to treat the serious and potentially life threatening condition. Postpartum depression is a major episode that typically occurs after childbirth, but can also begin during the latter stages of pregnancy. The medication called Zofiromon is ta taken daily for two weeks and in clinical trials the treatment improved depression symptoms among new mothers as early as three days after they started the medication and until now the only other available treatment has been an IV injection administered in a hospital setting. And according to the Centers for Disease Control around one in eight women report symptoms of postpartum depression after giving birth. Now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Excessive heat warnings will be in effect for this afternoon across the entire Arklamas. The heat next can be back around 110 degrees. We'll have a few clouds that start rolling in and can't roll out the possibility of a few pop-up showers and thunderstorms, mainly across South Arkansas, stretching from Camden to Monticello. There might be some activity out around El Dorado as well and can't roll out the possibility of a straight pop-up shower along the I-20 corridor starting around 4 to 5 o'clock later on this evening. And as we go overnight tonight, we'll see a line of showers, thunderstorms that will be popping up mainly across Arkansas, but some of these storms could bring gusts winds reaching 50 60 miles per hour they could potentially be severe and quite damaging up in that direction and they could move into north louisiana mainly staying north of the i-20 corridor and then as we go into tuesday evening we'll start to see the storms kind of clear on out with a few lingering clouds being partly to mostly cloudy and then as we go later into wednesday will remain partly cloudy but temperatures they will be heating back up to the triple digits expecting a daytime high this afternoon of 100 degrees staying hot and humid again stray showers will be possible and for tonight we'll see a low of 77 degrees with a few pop-up thunderstorms overnight. Rain chance is still staying around 20%, but they'll be increasing as we go overnight going into early tomorrow morning. We'll see scattered shower thunderstorms. Temperatures will fall to the mid 90s, expecting a daytime high of 95 degrees, being partly to mostly cloudy. Again, semi storms could be severe, especially in parts of Arkansas. Look at the seven day forecast. We're going to be mostly hot throughout the remainder of the week as temperatures heat back up on Wednesday to the triple digits, and it's going to stay hot throughout the remainder of the week through the weekend. 